we do live in a dark world and we live in a world that is depressed and we live in a world that's scared and we live in a world that's fearful, okay? So we have to be something different. Did you hear me? We have to be, okay? The church can't just go along with this. The church just can't go, well, they're scared, so I'm scared. They're fearful, I'm fearful. We can't mimic and look like the world. We're called to be in the world, but not of the world, okay? So we have to be people who are strong and mighty. Why? Because it depends on somebody's salvation. Did you hear me? You, 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 your life depends on somebody's eternity. Somebody you work with, somebody you meet at the store, somebody you come into contact with, somebody in your family, their eternity. Heaven and hell. And I know that we don't talk about this a lot. We don't think about this a lot. But people are dying and going to hell without the goodness of Jesus Christ. And without you, they might miss it. We go, well, no, 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 that's God's job. No, 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 that's your job. Jesus went back home, right? He went back home to the Father. And then he did what? He sent the Holy Spirit to empower us to be his voice in the earth. 